Ball Club presents Stuck at Home? Try looking up. The world is dealing with the emerging disaster of the novel coronavirus pandemic. Schools are closed, non-essential activities are curtailed, and of the many techniques communities have employed to combat the virus, social distancing is perhaps the most effective. In short, we are not going anywhere for a while. You are lucky enough if you have a terrace or backyard, you can still escape. You just have to look up. You can see up to 3,000 stars, stretching from horizon to horizon. In early April, step outside right around sunset and look westwards towards the setting sun. After it's fallen below the horizon, look for a strangely bright star, that's Venus, the second planet from the sun, sometimes called Earth's sister. If you wait for it to get a bit darker, you'll see that Venus is sitting right next to a famous constellation. Pleiades, the Seven Sisters, a tight cluster of bright stars. Towards the middle of April, if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, get up about an hour before dawn and gaze southeast. In that pre-dawn light, you'll see Jupiter, blaze brightly, Saturn, glows as a slightly off-white, and Mars, brightly as red, planets right in a row. The special treat in the middle of April is that the three planets will be joined by a lovely crescent moon. Once the stars come out in the middle of the night, look for the Big Dipper in the northern sky. Once you spot the bowl and handle of the Dipper, follow the curve of the handle away from the constellation, and you'll come across a bright orange star. Arcturus, part of the constellation Boots, he's a shepherd. After Arcturus, continue following in a straight line to Spica. This bluish-white, or whitish-blue, take your pick, is the brightest star of the constellation Virgo. If you're feeling really brave and adventurous, once you've reached Spica, you can keep on going, slowly, over to the constellation Corvus the Crow, which looks like a cute little four-pointed kite in the sky, 